Hello, parents. Welcome to the inaugural version of uh, Open House here at BBHHS. My name is Dan Reynolds, and I am your son or daughter's teacher for academic biology this year. I only have one period of uh, academic biology. I also teach three periods of AP Environmental. So they're in my, my sole class this year, which meets 7 and 8A each day for 65 minutes. Some things about me, just so that you know uh, about me as a teacher. This is my 14th year teaching here at the high school, and I've been teaching bio. I've taught it every year since I've been here. Um, so I've seen it evolve through the years. It's a cool class. There's some changes that we may have to make this year because of everything with um, COVID and all of that. And we may have to cut some things out this year and condense it. So. We typically do dissections each year, but might have to cut down on that because of time and the whatnot, but we'll see what the, the future holds for us. Um, I have a BS in biology and chemistry, and my concentration was in microbiology through John Carroll. I have a master's in, in, in science education through Ohio State University. Um, prior to being a teacher, becoming a teacher, I was a lead senior microbiologist for a pharmaceutical company for roughly three years, um, changed to a different job and worked um, in a health and hygiene company as a, a senior microbiologist as well for about a year and a half. And although I was pleased with how these jobs paid, um, I was not happy with um, like satisfaction of what I was doing at the job. It, it didn't bring me the happiness that I wanted out of a out of a career. So I looked into career changes and and uh, that's when I went to the Ohio State University and, and got my master's in education and decided that I wanted to become a teacher. And um, this being the 14th year, it was a, a choice that I, I really um, am happy that I made because I, I enjoy working with the kids. They're fun, they bring something new each day and it, it always keeps things interesting. Uh, my wife, Allison, also teaches here in the district. She's a Calc teacher. Um, I live in Brecksville, um, and our two daughters, who are in fourth and first grade, go to Highland. The text that we'll use, um, the kids do not get hardbound text. They haven't for the past three, four, five years or so. They move to online text only. Um, there are a limited number of hardbound texts that are in the library, so if they really, really want a hardbound text that they can keep at home and they don't like reading the online book, tell them to go to the uh, library so that they could pick up one of those texts before they, they, um, they loan them all out. Um, but the kids have gotten a link through their Google Classroom page so they can access the book. Online tools that they'll use. All their assignments are going to be posted on the classroom site. I've used classroom for many years here. The kids are comfortable with it. I'm comfortable with it. So their labs, notes, assignments, all things like that, they'll be able to get and submit through that site. You are able as a guardian to get onto the site and view their assignments. Like you can't, I believe, directly view the things they hand in, but you're able to see what assignments are due and when. You can't post to the chat or anything like that. So um, I strongly encourage you to join as a guardian on the Google Classroom site, which there's instructions on how to do that, or you can ask your son or daughter and they will give you the code and tell you how to do that as well. I have a personal website that you can access on the portal page. Um, this is helpful for you to see what we've done each day. I update this daily so that if your son or daughter is absent a day or if they forget what's due or whatever, they can go to that site and see what actually is due, when it's due, when a test is coming up, things like that. So it's very, very helpful. So they should be accessing that. And it's something that's good for you to access as well. Um, they have the Savas site, which is where they get to their online book. This, I had already sent them a link through Classroom. Um, they can also get to it through the portal page here at the high school. Um, their login for that is just their school email, um, as well as their school password that they use to access that email. The uh, material that we cover through the year, we cover everything from the human body, the history of life, we cover evolution, um, we do ecology, they do some geology, um, we do plants, they do microbiology, 
um, all different types of things. So biology includes a ton and ton of different um, subgroups within itself. So they're, they're going to get a pretty wide range of, of topics that they'll see in here. The course is generally by nature more intense than what they had last year in Science Foundations. So they will need to make sure they keep up with their readings daily. They need to make sure that if they have questions that they ask them of me um, when they're here in class or through email since we have the, the hybrid going on this year. But it's important for them to keep up with their work. They don't want to get behind in anything. Um, we're going to try and go as paperless as possible. Um, being that I teach AP Environmental as well, I like to use as little paper as possible. So many of their submissions will be through Google Classroom or through other sites um, that I'll let them know of throughout the year. Their grades, I encourage you to, you all have access to Progress Book where you can see up to date immediately what their grades are. I go in and update Progress Book continually throughout the week. Um, so it's good for you to see so there's no shock or surprise that their grade is poor, all right? Um, very, very important. The access to that, it's live, so you see exactly what I see on there. So it's, it's good to keep up with your son or daughter if you, even if you check it once a week, that's, that's going to be very good. So you can see if there's assignments in there that there's zeros that they, they need to address. Uh, if they ever need extra help with anything, they can email me, they can just let me know. I'm very approachable and I like to work with the kids. So if they have questions or things I don't understand, just tell them to come and see me um, and uh, I'll help them out as need be. If you ever need to get in touch with me, the best way is through my email, which is reynoldsd at bbhcsd.org. Um, send me an email calling me here. Our phones don't ring. It goes to voicemail. So the best way to, to get an answer to something is to send me an email. This year being that we're online and hybrid and all of that, things are going to, it may take longer for me to get back to you, but still send an email. The kids, as I told them in their email that I sent out yesterday, um, this is a work in progress for them and us as teachers. So there's going to be times where uh, things happen on my end, things happen on their end, things happen with technology, various things. There's so many, so much room for error and so many different things that can, that can go wrong with this. So just tell them that keep me, keep me apprised of any issues that may be happening at home. If they're sick, your parents are sick, someone's sick in the household that may keep them from doing their work in time, that, that may be causing them to, um, need extra time, whatever. It's always good to know that in advance so that we can prepare for things because I think that's gonna happen more often than not this year, unfortunately. Um, if you have any questions, as I said, email is the best way. Um, hopefully things clear up here in the, the very near future where things start to get better with everything. We get back to some normalcy and we can actually meet and talk in person. Um, but that is all for now and look forward to starting on Tuesday. Thank you.